Live from San Francisco, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering Oracle Open World 2015 from Studio C, brought to you by Cisco. Now your host, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back to The Cube. I'm Stu Miniman, joined with Brian Gracely from Wikibon.com. This is Oracle Open World 2015. Here on the show floor, lots of people digging into sessions, winning prizes. Happy to bring back to the program Radhika Krishnan, who is the VP of Products and Solutions uh, with Nimble Storage. Radhika, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Stu. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so Radhika, last time I spoke with you on theCUBE, you'd actually done an adaptive flash launch at your headquarters. Actually, it was a worldwide launch. I remember you guys had people in London, Chicago, New York City, that is all right. over the place. So, uh, what's been keeping you busy the last year? Yeah, no, exactly. So, adaptive flash has uh, definitely caught on in a big way. You know, we have several customers now deploying our products um, as of uh, last count, as of the previous quarter, as of middle of last this year, uh, we have north of 6,000 customers deploying Adaptive Flash. Um, so there's, there's been a lot of product innovation going on. Uh, we're continuing to uh, execute on all fronts, you know, developing our channel ecosystem, or uh, as well as our technology partner ecosystem as well. All right, so we're, we're in the midst of, you know, so many changes going on in the industry. I, I know one we want to dig into here is converged infrastructure. Uh, Wikibon's been tracking this, I mean, since the early days. Uh, we said customers really need simplicity, and you said, you know, I want to get out of the storage silo. It's, you know, I, if storage is hugely important. It's a big piece of the budget. It's a big piece of what I have to manage, uh, but it, it needs to get beyond that. So how, I mean, Nimble is a storage company. How, how do you look at those solutions? How do you look at you know, the alliances that you own to help, uh, you know, build a full stack. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right, Stu. So if you think about it, I mean, infrastructure, storage, or compute doesn't get consumed in isolation, right? It always gets consumed in the context of an application or a use case. And that's where converged infrastructure seems to be gaining a lot of traction. You know, customers really appreciate the fact that having a blueprint or a reference architecture dramatically accelerates the speed of deployment. It also mitigates the risk to quite an extent because you know, they have the confidence that it's all been tested before. Now, if you look at you know, what makes some converged, I mean, obviously there are very many converged offerings out there in the market today. So if you think about what it is that you know, differentiates one converged offering from another, I kind of like to uh, you know, look back at how Gartner talks about you know, the four key criteria uh, that determines uh, success of, of converged infrastructures. Uh, the first that Gartner talks about is performance. Uh, the second they tend to talk about is you know, the operational expenditure reduction that Converge brings about. The third that they tend to talk about is really this notion of sourcing um, in a much simpler fashion. And then the fourth tends to be around um, you know, just the automation, the orchestration aspect that tends to be very inherent in Converge. So if you look at how Nimble has approached Converge, you know, it's really keeping you know, those four aspects in mind. Yes. Yeah, so there's a lot of change going on in the storage industry. Certain companies are slowing down, you know, getting small. You guys are growing very quickly. What's, you talk to a lot of customers. What's the change in mindset of them in terms of how they look at their vendors, why they're choosing Nimble? What's, what's really changing that's, that's driving so much growth for you guys? Yeah, so from a storage standpoint, Brian, I think you can really attribute it to the massive disruption that is going on in the industry, uh, namely Flash, right? I mean, obviously Flash has dramatically changed the way customers are able to consume storage. And uh, as far as legacy vendors and the way that they've been able to leverage Flash to deliver value, they have been handicapped to some extent by virtue of the fact that they've had to build on existing architectures. You know, they have the burden of the legacy products that they need to protect, uh, versus companies like Nimble have been able to innovate from the ground up. And so, therefore, we have been able to deliver a lot more value to our customers. Um, you know, on average, about five times better price performance, just as an example. And so that is dramatically altering the way customers view storage. And given the, the increased value that younger windows are able to bring, bring, to, the, bring, bring uh, to the table, it is making it a lot easier for customers to make the decision to break away from the incumbent and move to a newer vendor. 
So, Radhika, there's still such a huge install base. Brian said, said some of the older technologies uh, that are still out there. I remember when Nimble first came out, it was you know kind of some monolithic storage. You know, is, is, is it tier one? Is it mid tier? Where are we fighting today? Uh, there, there, there's hybrid. There's all flash arrays. There's hyperconverge. Uh, you know, wh where do you see the customers? Uh, you know, wh what are the solution sets that they're looking at? How much are you still fighting kind of the the old stuff where I'm just kind of buying increasing, and how much are you kind of competing against your peers or some of the, 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 the newer startups out there? Yeah, no, so there are definitely, you know, the legacy vendors that we tend to compete against. And there are some emerging trends as well, as you rightly pointed out. You know, we talked about Converge. Hyperconverge is the other trend that seems to be playing out in the industry. Uh, there is the other C word as well, the cloud, uh, that also seems to be taking off in a big way. And uh, so if you look at it, you know, I, I think, at the end of the day, it comes down to the use case, the application, right? And, and what customers are looking for uh, in the context of, you know, whether it's their database deployment or their server virtualization deployment or an analytics workload. And each of these deployment models carry some unique benefits, some advantages. Uh, for instance, you know, hyperconverge seems to play really well in the robo space where customers might value simplicity, right? Where they may not have the benefit of having specialized compute or storage admins. Um, cloud is another instance where it, it plays really well in the edge applications. Might not be uh, today quite ready for you know, your mainstream Oracle or, or database application. Right, uh, we're, we're obviously we're here at the Cisco booth. You guys are a str very, very strong Cisco partner. How much does that help that you're going in with a server partner that, that isn't, you know, has sort of very modern looking technology? They're looking at the problem space differently, which is very much what you do in terms of simplicity, in terms of flexibility. How much does that help customers say, you know, I want to kind of keep server and storage in lockstep? Yeah, if you think about Cisco, it is an extremely synergistic partnership for us. Um, just as you know, Cisco has been able to you know, penetrate the server market and capture a large market share within a very short period of time, Nimble has also been able to capitalize on the flash trend and, and demonstrate uh, customer traction. And if you look at some of the inherent value propositions that the, both the companies uh, bring to bear, they are fairly similar, right? I mean, it revolves around the notion of uh, simplifying through intelligent software. It revolves around the notion of modularity, around the notion of being able to scale seamlessly, and around the notion of very innovative management and support. Uh, you know, again, uh, our, a lot of our customers are, are very familiar with uh, InfoSight, which is our cloud-based management offering. And so it's, it's, it's the synergy that we're able to bring about um, between the two companies that have contributed to the success of the partnership. Excellent. So, so Radhika, we talked a little bit about some of your infrastructure partners. I'm curious, how much does Nimble you know, optimize and engage with kind of the ISVs out there, or you know, Oracle, SAP, and the like? Yeah, so we've been systematically investing in the space, uh, too. So if you think back to you know, four years ago when I joined Nimble, uh, there was a very concerted uh, decision that was made at the highest levels to continually uh, build out our ecosystem. And to that end, you know, we have very strong partnerships with obviously the hypervisor vendors, so you know, VMware and Microsoft, uh, but in the application space as well. So you know, obviously uh, SQL Server Exchange, you know, these are very popular applications that get deployed on Nimble. Um, over time, we've built out our partnership with Oracle, uh, which is turning out to be very successful for us. Uh, we've also gone ahead and invested in our SAP HANA partnership. Um, and we have a smart stack offering um, in that space. Uh, we're continuing to engage with the broader ecosystem of vendors. Analytics is the next frontier we're going after uh, with uh, more and more concerted engagements with vendors like Splunk, et cetera. So as, as you look at Oracle, I mean, they're an interesting beast. At the one hand, you know, they've got a big ecosystem. You look at the size of the show, you look what's happening in the show floor. On the other hand, they come out and they're like, if you want to run the Oracle database, there's nobody that gives you better performance than if you run it on our full stack. The red stack all the way down from the silicon. We're going to bake security in. We're going to give you all these special things. And so how do you look at that and how, how, how do you how do you line up in the marketplace and compare against Oracle? Yeah, I believe it really comes down to giving customers choices, right? And, and there are customers that value the reassurance that a vertically integrated stack provides, and there are customers that would prefer to inter incorporate best-of-breed components into their solutions. And with 
the partnership that Nimble has with Cisco and Oracle, you know, we real I mean, if you can if, 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 if you know we fall into that ladder category. And we believe that there is a, a core fit of value propositions we bring to the table uh, with the with the Cisco compute, with the Nimble storage, and, and with the Oracle database and application on top. So, you know, we, we've been listening to keynotes, we've been talking to some of the Oracle executives. You could walk away from here and, and think, boy, there are no other applications than Oracle. In, in the customers that you talk to, you know, how, how much of a spread is there? How many other, you know, how broad is their application portfolio? How much does Oracle play where, you know, that, that all Oracle stack makes sense versus, like you said, they want to have flexibility, whether it's at the hypervisor layer or lots and lots of applications. Is it? Is it dominant? Is it a piece of it? You know, give us a sense of your customer base in terms of where Oracle fits. Yeah, so um, from our customer base standpoint, we have a significant portion that have chosen to deploy Oracle both in production environments as well as test and dev environments using this best of breed approach. If you were to look at analyst forecast, it feels like you know the the there is a, a slight edge that the best of breed approach seems to have over the vertically integrated stacks. So, you know, just based on market data from uh, analysts like IDC, what you typically tend to see is that, you know, this is north of like 50 percent tends to deploy those best of breed stacks. So, um, you know, again, I think it really comes down to, you know, where in the hierarchy you are, larger customers typically may not like vendor lock-in. So all those ad, uh, factors seem to dictate the choice. Yeah. All right, so, so Radhika, you talked a little bit about how you, you build the solutions uh, for Oracle. When, when you balance, how much do you talk to the DBAs, how much do you talk to the storage, and how much are those roles changing? You know, we talked about kind of virtualization admins, even kind of cloud architects. What, what do you see as the kind of the organizational impact and, and how Nimble addresses that? That's a great question, Stu, because, you know, I, I think the world has evolved to the point, you know, particularly with virtualization where, some of that kind of just, you know, get jumbled together, right? So it's no longer that you're just talking to the storage admin. Matter of fact, as you rightly pointed out with converged architectures, you know, you're more often trying to uh, talk to the, the database admin or the virtualization admin. And uh, for them, you know, a lot of it comes down to, you know, the performance that they're able to get from the infrastructure underneath. It comes down to the ease of use. Uh, which, you know, when you were to, if you have to parlay it down to storage terms, really comes down to the data management kind of capabilities that you can bring to the fold. And that is where, you know, Nimble shines with our cloning capabilities and with uh, some of the uh, snapshot and replication features uh, that, that we offer to customers as well. We, we had a chance to talk to some of your team yesterday. We were talking about the constant management and monitoring you do of the systems. It lets you understand your systems better. How much of that helps you not only make your product better, but also helps you in interacting with, with your SI and ISV partners to sort of help them understand this space better? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, when InfoSight started out, which is, that is our cloud-based management offering, by the way, the intent really was to uh, leverage it for support purposes. But as it's evolved over time, it's become more evident that customers get to benefit from some of the insights that the tool provides, as well as, you know, as you rightly pointed out, you know, the broader uh, war community, the SI community as well. Uh, one of the things that we introduced about a, a year or so back is the ability to provide uh, WARF and SI um, insights into what is going on in their customer environment. So they're able to customize and offer specialized services that might help their customers. Yeah. Yeah. Radhika, as, as you talk to the users, what's kind of the white space? What are they asking for? Uh, especially if, maybe if you've got any examples in the Oracle space as to how to make their lives easier and help move business forward. Sorry, Stu, could you repeat the question again? So, just talking about, as you talk to customers, as uh -huh. we kind of look forward, uh, you know, where, where do you see room to expand? Where, where do you think we can kind of grow the market? Uh, and how Nimble can help customers even more going forward in Oracle environments? Yeah, so if you think about it, you know, there are some core com uh, factors, core attributes that customers seem to most care about when it comes to storage. You know, obviously price performance tends to be um, top most on that list, but also, you know, as we talked about earlier, data management tends to be fairly critical. Uh, scaling tends to be a crucial aspect. And then more importantly, you know, as, as we talked about uh, management, you know, particularly this notion of cloud-enabled management, 
also seems to be uh, rising up to the top in terms of priorities. So those are really the areas that we're going to be focusing on moving forward as well. Yeah, so a lot of talk about cloud this week. How, how, what's your sense, how comfortable do you think your customers feel putting applications in the cloud versus just really trying to transform how they operate on premise and, and their own private data centers? I think it really, again, comes down to you know, their uh, comfort level and you know, even as you travel across the globe and talk to various customers, you realize that the risk aversion towards you know, keeping data in-house versus moving into the cloud seems to vary across the map. Um, there are obviously in, in uh, regions like the US as well as in Australia, customers tend to be far more willing to move more of their application data over to the cloud. Uh, there, there's much more of a risk aversion if you move to other parts of the world. And so I think it really comes down to uh, you know, what, what kinds of, you know, there's, there's a variety of factors that dictate those decisions. Uh, part of it is, you know, again, you know, how critical is, is the security of your data, as well as you know, how much mobility are you going to be able to achieve when you move data to the cloud. Because um, you know, it's obviously, for most customers, when the data moves to the cloud, it needs to be also, uh, they need to have the ability to move it back into their private cloud environment as well. So that, that hybrid aspect starts to become much more crucial. All right, well, Radha Krishna from Nimble Storage, really appreciate you coming by, sharing with us all the updates, successes, uh, and what your customers are doing uh, with Nimble and the Oracle space, and, and as well as the, uh, the partnership with Cisco. We'll be right back with lots more coverage here from Oracle Open World 2015. Thanks for watching theCUBE.